hi everyone welcome to today's class so today we are going to look into one of the topic which you might face or sometime you can get this in a real time working or you might have question about this topic okay so today's topic is basically material type change in s4 hana so sometime what will happen sometime by the project need or by the business need sometime what will happen sometime your business is asking that i want to change my material type so there will be a material master will be already created or there will be a material will be already created under a material type now your business is asking now change the material type okay now in that case what you need to do what you need to check and how you can change the material type okay so these are some of the prerequisite for changing the material type whenever you are going to change the material type so these conditions you need to keep in in your mind okay what are the prerequisites so first thing there should be no open purchase order or production order so there will be no purchase order or no production order any open transaction should not be there for this material so whatever material is there for that one there will be no open transaction should be there okay second thing there will be there should be no stock for the material so stock will not be there and uh, stock should not be there in the warehouse or in the plant or in the plant there should be no material okay so stock should not be there so first thing is no stock second thing is no open purchase order or no open production order so third thing is there should be no open goods receipt item will be there so basically this is the same point of the purchase order but you can check so if there is any kind of open purchase order are there so system will find if there is any kind of open grs are there okay so basically there should be no open grs are also to be there okay so now if some uh, let's say uh, prerequisites are not met let's say there are open purchase orders are there or let's say there will be open production order will be there or let's say there will be some stock will be there or let's say there will be some grs will be there what you can do so first thing if any kind of purchase orders are there so first you have to close it i believe you already know how to close it in the last class we have seen how we can um, uh, so uh, how to close a PO? I believe already you know it. If you don't know it, please comment in the comment section. We will be looking into it. How we can close a purchase order? Okay. So basically, this is a first thing. If you have an open purchase order, you have to close close it. If you have an open goods receipt or there is some goods receipt to be done, so you can receive that goods. Okay. You can do the goods receipt and you can receive the goods. Now, if you are posting the goods receipt there will be some stocks will be there so if there will be any stocks will be there so you have to do the goods receipt okay any kind of virtual kind of goods receipt you can do you can do uh, means physically you don't have to move the product but virtually from the system you have to remove the stock okay so um, uh, to the scrapping you can move or to some area you can move whatever things you want to do you can do it but there should be no stock in the warehouse okay so um, in the system there should be no stock physically you can have the stock no worries but same with the purchase order if it is needed then you can close the purchase order and again if required you can uh, after changing the material type you can open the purchase order again or you can create a new purchase order as per your feasibility as per your client requirement you can do it no problem on it okay so basically these things you have to see before changing a material type now how can we change a material type now let's see uh, if these prerequisites are not meeting what is the issue in the change in material type or uh, let's say while we are doing the material type change how we can go for the material type let's see on the s4 hana server okay now this is a s4 hana server from here you can go to logistics if you want to if you know the t code mm am is the t code directly you can go to mm am t code or you can go through this menu path so how you can go from here so let's say you will open the logistics then you will be going to material management in the material management you have to go to material master 
inside the material master you have to go to material in the material here you are having mmam change material type okay just double click on it it will open a screen for you now we need to see what are the material are there what is the material type okay so now we will just go to ac 16n and we will check for mara and we will go for material let's say uh, we will see 50 series okay we need to find out some something from this one okay some 50 series number ranges are there so we will see if something is available now just execute okay so no problem we will find something okay now we'll just execute and we will see whatever materials are there okay so we will look into it in a date change so what are the latest materials are there okay so here you can see material number 5001 4003 uh, okay so we will be taking this material okay this is the material number triple uh, double three double zero five so we will be taking this material okay okay so this is the material number okay fine so we will be taking the material number from here let's see some of the latest material this is created on 1503 so let's take let's take this one okay and we will be seeing in mmb if there is any stocks are there we will remove the plant selection we will see if there is any kind of materials or any stocks are available Okay, so there is no stocks are available. Okay. Mm -hmm. this is a better way we can go here and we can see the material so this is the material we will check 500002 okay Five double zero double zero two. okay so now we will execute and see if there is any material so these are some materials are there okay these are on order stock i believe there will there is no goods receipt has been done okay so we can check this one okay so we need to see this one so there is a open purchase order is there so there is one prerequisite which is not matching so we can take this five double zero double zero two and hit enter so it is asking what is your new material type you have to select so now let's say i'll be selecting any of the material type let's say i'll be selecting a service just enter so this is roh material is there so old material type it is taking so what is the new material type that you want to take you can take it okay now if i execute on this one let's see whatever messages we are getting so now it is showing me some information the material type cannot be changed okay the reasons are uh, the reasons for this are purchase orders are exist okay these are the purchase order 743 and 744 two purchase orders are existing okay let's say i will be doing okay so let's say mi geo will be going to migo and uh, we will be selecting this four five let's see what are the material number 
what is the four five double zero triple zero seven four three four five double zero triple zero double zero seven four three okay let me just enter this one not yet released if I go to seven four four okay so basically here you can see these are the purchase order for which it is saying that purchase orders are exist so similarly if you are having some stock it will show you the stock item like any kind of stocks are there but stocks are there it will show you because these are only the in the MMB also we can see only the on order stock is there so there is no material has been received yet but there is a open purchase order so that's why it is not allowing us to close this or change this material type now let's go to this purchase order so we will go to slash and me 22 sorry me 22 and we'll be going there and here we can do one thing so select this one so I believe you know how to close a purchase order so directly you can select this line item and click on delete also this will also work okay now just save this one okay this is for 744 now we will go for Four five double zero triple zero seven four three. Okay, so now here also there is some option. So here also we can do the same thing. Here also we can do the, uh, we can go to the delivery tab and here we can select the delivery completion indicator in the invoice also we can select the final invoice indicator for all the quantities. Okay, so that you can see. So basically we can see where is our material. So what is the material over there? Let's see what is this material five double zero triple zero two. LSHS premium. Okay, let's see if there is something over here. no problem okay 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 so we have taken a different purchase order so that's why it was not allowing us it's 743 now just enter enter welcome here okay so this is the material four five double zero double zero seven four three this is the purchase order now you can see this is the material so now here also you can go to the delivery tab and you can select the delivery completion indicator you can go to the invoice and you can see select the final invoice this is also one more way of closing this purchase order now click on save okay now the standard material has been purchase order has been changed now if I go again to this material type and I will select service hit enter now click on execute okay now it is saying the material type cannot be changed the reason for these are purchase order exist two material types have either different quantity or value updating or a different account category reference okay so you have to see for the both of the material type you are selecting they must be having a same 
account category reference or they must be having a same quantity or value updating so dian is basically a service material so service material is not having the quantity and value updating and for the other material i believe that is a fert material uh, uh, sorry that is a raw material so raw material will be having a quantity and value updating that's why it is not allowing so let us see with a different material type so let's say i will be changing that Okay, it is a MROH. Now let's say I will be changing it to ROH. Okay. I will be changing it to ROH. Let's see if this is allowing me. Let's execute. Okay. So it is having the same thing. So you have to check for the quantity and value updating and account category reference if it is there. Okay. So this is the way you can change the material type but it is not suggested once you are running the business you are not supposed to change the material type okay this is not suggested by sap there is not supposed to be done that you are going to change the material type in the middle of the business because due to these kind of issues let's say it will be there will be a different valuation area will be there there will be a different valuation classes will be there so there will be huge let's say uh, a huge confu uh, confusions for the financial side okay finance side there will be a lot of misconception or a lot of uh, let's say there will be issues will be there so for the valuation for the prices and for the different let's say your this um, material type will be posted to a different valuation class or that previous um, material type will be added to a different valuation class so there will be a lot of issues on that one so it is not suggested in the middle of the business you should not change the material type so if required you can change before starting of your let's say your system is not yet ready so let's say you have created some of the material for uh, ROH type now you want to create a custom material type and you want to change the material type then you can change but don't change it in the middle of the business okay so that's all for today i believe this will be helpful for you and this uh, this will be informative for you so that's all for today let's meet up again in next class till then bye bye and take care